Now, go ahead, if you have all the wires connected right, or if you haven't done it at all, it uh, doesn't matter. Go ahead and plug in your board now to the uh, computer. And what we need to figure out is what COM port your board is on. And to do that, uh, the easiest way is to go over to the Windows Device Manager. If you're on Windows 10, just hit the Windows key and start typing Device Manager. It should come up. And then uh, switch over there. So you see I don't have mine plugged in yet. So as soon as I do, now you see it show up here. Uh, depending on what board you got, where you got it from, uh, it's possible this may look a little different. Um, but you should notice that something popped up that wasn't there. And look at the COM port. And that should be your board. So if we pop back over to the... Uh, Arduino IDE, go up to tools here, and uh, first go ahead and select the COM port, mine 7, select the one that uh, belongs to you, it should be in here, if it's not then uh, then you got another issue but it should be in there, um, then go to the board section here and make sure you select uh, the proper board, uh, You, if you got the Node MCU you may have an different version. Um, I've got the version 1. If you've got the, the older version, uh, which I don't know that this necessarily works on, I don't know, really know the difference. Um, but uh, this is the one you want if this is the board you've got. And uh, we should be good to go there. If not, if you run into a trouble after this point, uh, there's a lot of documentation on uh, making sure that your uh, Arduino IDE works with your board. So check that out if you have any issues. What we're going to do, we've got this in here. It's basically um, nothing. It's not going to do anything. If you're not familiar with how uh, an Arduino sketch is set up, I'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna make sure it's saved and go ahead and upload which you can also do with control U. This is gonna send the sketch to the board. And uh, if you have your wires plugged in and your light plugged in, then uh, your light will likely turn on. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the uh, view of the uh, board here. I spent uh, a lot of time messing with the uh, lighting and green screen and still didn't get this uh, edge here. So, uh, uh, I'll work on that later for uh, future videos, but uh, if I didn't stop messing with it, I'd never do this video. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to upload the sketch to the board, and again, your your light should turn on once that happens. Um, sometimes this can take a while, especially if this is the first time. I remember that taking forever to uh, first upload. It takes a little bit longer than it normally does on a regular Arduino if you're used to that. Usually those are up in a matter of a couple seconds. This takes more, like, I'd say maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And there you go. You can see I've got power to the board, and uh, the light is on. And actually, we're still uploading. Um, now we're done. So the light's off. What uh, happened there was we sent power to the board, which then shot power through that, uh, that uh, pin into the light. And then the uh, sketch finished uploading and realized that we're not doing anything. So it uh, turned off the light. 